Hello programmers, I'm Yash and welcome to my video tutorial on Swift programming. Today we will be learning about uh, how to add a scroll view to the storyboard. So let's get started and we will be doing this in Swift 4. So just on a general note and uh, this is my Xcode version which is 9.0. Let's get started. Create a new Xcode project, single view application, name it scroll view hit next uh, save it wherever you like and uh, create so here we are so under main dot storyboard uh, we'll, uh, we are not doing uh, we are go not going to do anything in view controller so under main dot storyboard what we will do is first drag and drop a scroll view and uh, put it on top uh, if you don't want to have like a uh, status bar so put it on the like topmost corner or topmost edge and let's give it a some background color so that we can see what ha what's happening so we will just give constraints so it will be zero from top zero from left zero from right and zero from bottom add four constraints so here is our scroll view so basically what happens is uh, if you put the scroll view in center and give constraints there will be a margin of like 20 points so I don't know why uh, this happens in uh, like Xcode 9 initially it used to get like 0 0 to everything but anyways this is what it is now we need a view drag and drop a view and it will be this one a normal view put anywhere you like and just give constraints it will be 0 from top 0 from left 0 from right 0 from bottom and we will give it a fixed height now guys this height is something what you want so basically like iPhones like how much space more you need so I will like randomly put some numbers so I will go for like let's say 1250 and this will be the height and now you will see this red line this is because of uh, width so just control this view and drag it to the main view and say equal width so the error is gone now let's give it a background color so we know what's happening again so this is our yellow this is our background color for our view okay that blue thing was our scroll view we will see that in a minute so uh, click this view controller this button yellow button and go to this one this is like I don't know that's scale inspector or what I don't know it's this is attribute inspector and this is size inspector and go to freeform and here here pitch in the height what you gave to the scroll view so I gave it 1250 so I will put 1250 over here not scroll view the view which you had so now we are even so if you don't if you forgot the height you can just click this thing and just click this line this is 1250 so here we have it this is our whole view controller and now let's test it by putting a button on bottom and uh, let's say save and I will just bump up the size and give a constraint so it will be 8 from bottom and let's say 100 from left and 100 from right and height will be fixed so add 4 constraints and let's just make it a little bit bigger so little bit this is little bit yeah so now it's visible and just like make it a duplicate and drag and drop the duplicate on top So just make it say something like new and we first need to remove constraints of this one and we will give it constraints again so it will be 8, 100, 100, this is fine, this is fine, height is 48, that's okay, add 4 constraints. So here we are. So now let's uh, run our app and see what happens. So I'll select iPhone 7 plus and here is my simulator so the application is building installing and so here we have it this is new and if you drag you can see the scroll icon over here and you drag at bottom you see, uh, you see save now if you pull it up this is like the scroll view which we had you can change its background color to like null so that it's white again but this is the effect you can you get 
uh, every time you scroll up and down so it's just to give the animating effect thank you guys keep watching more videos on swift 4 coming soon